Hey guys, hope you're having a really great weekend. Uh, I just want to talk a little bit today about how all of the evil plans that the narcissist makes to destroy someone actually ends up um, blowing up in their face and um, backfiring. Um, you know, and, and something uh, that actually happened in my case was, um, so I um, met up with my ex in Nepal, so he had basically um, stalked me, harassed me, and then um, finally I gave in to, um, to meeting up with him when I was traveling in Nepal. Now, I remember uh, very vaguely one, one night we were staying in a village and he had been trying to show me up because you know how narcissists are always competing against like this imaginary person. So they're always competing like, you know, the crazy, insane, like, you know, psychos that they are. So he was trying to compete and show me about how to to um, open a, a bottle and uh, and when he did when he did open it, it backfired and like basically, um, you know, uh, had like all just shot up in his face. So his face was covered in all the sticky stuff, soda and everything. So, you know, and then he like was upset about that, but I was just sitting there laughing because it was kind of a reflection of, um, like, uh, basically everything that they do comes back around in circles and that's their karma. So, um, you know, a lot of, uh, survivors of this insidious, disgusting abuse want to, um, they want to know that the person who did this to them is going to be getting their karma. And I can assure you that all narcissists and psychopaths, um, are living their karma every day. They're living their karma. Um, because everything, every negative um, thing they put out in the world, all of the um, abuse and um, the torment and, um, you know, trapping other people um, and turning them into victims and abusing them, um, all of this comes back to haunt them and they definitely do get their karma, um, whether it's justice through the justice system or they um, get exposed or people, because people eventually figure them out. They know what they are. They know they're a predator behind the mask of the, you know, the charming, um, superficially charming, um, quiet, awkward, so-called nice guy that they think they know. But so, so the main thing is, is that they definitely do get their karma and uh, what goes around comes around with these predators. So um, everything that they've inflicted on, on their past victims, um, they live the karma every day. So it, it usually, um, not only are they filled with toxic energy, but they're constantly being haunted by karma. And they know this. And this is why they're constantly looking paranoid. And they're constantly looking over their shoulder because they know there's a lot of people that they've fucked over and that they've wronged in the past um, and done atrocious things to and have abused. So they know that, you know, that karma is just over their shoulder and it definitely is. Um, I know this for a fact and I've seen every single narcissist, psychopath in my life who's been abusive to not only me, but to other people. I have seen them fall and they, when they crash, they crash and burn like you wouldn't even believe. So it might look good on the surface. They might look like they're having a great time now with the, the person they cheated on you with or um, the, the people they've triangulated you with, uh, which in, in my case, it was like all his um, new found like meetup group buddies, which were like really lame and stupid. And like he was trying to make me jealous by I was going with them and it didn't work. So, um, so basically, yeah, that or 
um, someone that they've cheated on you with and then rubbed it in your face, which happened um, with his ex before me. Um, so yeah, I mean, they do anything really, but the, the main the main point is everything that uh, that th they've done to others is always coming back. I've seen this time and again, like they usually get a lot of health problems, like um, arthritis, especially that's a lot of negative toxic energy and karma coming back to bite them in the ass for what they've done to people. Um, and you know, uh, my ex had bad arthritis and I really hope that that swallows him whole. I hope it just um, eats him alive because this is exactly what they deserve. They deserve to go down and to just like go through as much pain as possible because their whole lives they're just going around and abusing people, um, psychologically attacking them, um, manipulating people, lying through their teeth, uh, professing love when really like they don't really love anyone and they know this. Um, so, so this, this is, this is why, um, yeah, this definitely, um, manifests itself as a lot of the times a physical, physical ailment. Um, like a lot of narcissists and, and psychopaths, uh, sociopaths, they get, um, a lot of really bad, um, like, outbreaks of like these disgusting boils and like skin conditions and rashes and all kinds of things because like I said it's a manifestation of um, their toxic negative energy abusive uh, energy they have on the inside and this is this is what and what they're doing to everyone around them which is like tormenting people trying to psychologically strangle them um, destroy every person they come into contact with. So this is definitely, um, their karma. And this is, um, God's way of, of, you know, like of paying them back because like the way that they live, they really don't think that, uh, they don't really believe in God and they think that everything, cause they think they are God, they're narcissists. So they think that, that everything that they do they aren't going to have any consequences for. So they just kind of go through life and, you know, abuse people, use them, um, trash their lives, come into their life like some kind of tornado and then come out of their life like, you know, like they're unscathed and the person is left with, you know, um, being led off their life course or being financially ruined or, um, you know, being left with all of this, um, horrible memories and trauma. So, so this is what they do and this is what they do every day. This is how they live their life. So, so their way, uh, of living an abusive lifestyle and not only abusing others around them, but abusing themselves because ultimately all narcissists hate themselves. That's why they need to go out and attack other people. That's why they're constantly obsessing on everyone else and stalking their profiles and going after them, um, targeting them to gain attention and sympathy, um, play the victim, even though they're the ones going out and victimizing everyone else. So, so you just have to realize that, um, yes, they are getting their karma and they live it every day. I've seen it. Um, they usually, like I said, they, they break out in these disgusting boils or just horrible acne, um, scars all over their body. You can, you can see it. Um, I just think it's payback. It's God's payback. Um, they're getting this because of what they're doing. They're going around and hunting people, um, to suck the life out of them, suck their souls out of them. Um, I do believe that they are possessed by demons. Um, a lot of channels have discussed this. Um, a lot of channels of narcissistic abuse, and I definitely agree that they are possessed um, by a demon um, and uh, or some kind of other dark entity. But um, I don't think that they are human at all because all of their traits are like s um, not even subhuman, just inhuman. So I would say I don't view them as human beings. Um, there's nothing human about them. So they might look like us, talk like us, um, and everything, but there's nothing human inside of them.
and I can vouch for this. I, I grew up in a family of narcissists and um, toxic people. Uh -huh. um, I've been physically, um, emotionally, and in many other ways um, abused by the, these people, these types of people. I've been, um, my life, they've constantly throughout my life since the day I was born, um, there's been a psychopath or multiple psychopaths who've been trying to attack me and destroy my life. Um, and in the case of a lot of them, a lot of narcissists, they ultimately want to drive their um, the victims to suicide. So they ultimately would love to see you kill yourself and they want to see you dead. Um, they want to see you um, just suffering and and just they want you to end your life because um, they would get such a good feeling out of that. Like that's how sick these individuals are. They would um, gladly love to, to hear that you've killed yourself. Um, so I haven't given them what they wanted my whole life. I've been strong. I've managed to overcome all of the abuse. I've I've uh, made it really far, and I haven't looked back, and I will never look back. So fuck you, motherfuckers, and um, yeah, I mean, fuck all of them. Um, they can go to hell. I, I don't have any feelings for them. I don't have any empathy. I don't have any, um, I just, I've never looked back at any of them. I mean, the minute that the mask falls and I see what they are under the mask, I see that they're a psychopath or a predator, I'm out. I mean, um, I'm just gone. I've never looked back because a lot of them, you know, especially the covert narcissists, they come into your life, they try to act all meek and harmless and and nice, like they wouldn't hurt anyone, but then the mask usually falls, I would say within a few months, and you'll see exactly what they are, and um, the tables will turn, and then you'll get to see the predator that's really lurking underneath um, this facade. So, um, so, so the, the, and unfortunately, the fact that, um, especially if you come from a family of narcissists and psychopaths, um, and you happen to be uh, one of the, the few or only one who came out of there, um, not only alive, but you yourself didn't become a narcissist or a psychopath, like in my case, um, then just count yourself extremely lucky because it's much better to be um, a normal human being capable of feeling love, empathy, compassion, and happiness than um, you know a raging predator that's incapable of love, so they go out and target people uh, use people, manipulate them, and try to destroy everyone else's life because they're so bored and empty on the inside. And uh, they just, their their life is like a barren landscape. So on the inside, these people, like they're just a barren landscape on the inside. So there's really nothing there. Um, just a barren land. And, you know, everyone around them has color and life, and they just want to take that from everyone. They're envious. They're extremely envious of other people, and um, they uh, they they want to take from others. They want to they want everything that you have, and that's why they targeted you. See, I have never been targeted really by a psychopath or a narcissist um, at any point in my life where I was in kind of a level state. It's always been when I've been at my um, top. I've been at my best. Um, things are going really well. Um, you know, uh, everything is great, and then all of a sudden one of them comes along, and this is usually the case. So the only times that I um, haven't really, uh, well, I guess it depends. Sometimes they can come along when you're in a bad state because they can definitely sense your vulnerabilities and your weaknesses. So, um, but the main thing is is that just, just understand that, um, they're constantly living their karma every day, and um, and definitely um, we have to stop viewing them as being one of us, as being human. Um, we have to start viewing them as um, what I, you know, do believe they are, which is possessed by demons, um, and even renowned clinical psychologists like Dr. Robert Hare have labeled them as interspecies predators and they know exactly what they are they like what they are they enjoy it because it's in a lot of cases it gets them what they want um so whatever they want from the person whether it's money um sex a place to stay for a while 
um, entertainment, uh, just anything. I mean, they just go through life using people because they don't even see us as people. They see us as objects to be um, owned and and d then discarded when they're no longer um, need us or have any use for us. But then they always put that object back up on the shelf to try to come back around later and see if they can get anything from that person or that person still has some kind of an emotional attachment to them. So, so the biggest thing here is to, to protect yourself is um, you absolutely cannot view them as being human at all. Um, you have to view them as being the predators that they really are. Um, don't view them with any humanity. Don't give them any emotions. Don't give them any humanity. They don't deserve it. Um, they deserve to be locked up. Uh, they deserve to be isolated from the rest of the human race, as far as I'm concerned. Um, I don't see any human, anything human about them. So the minute that uh, you can stop viewing them as, a, as human is the minute all your feelings should go away and you shouldn't um, have any an ounce of sympathy for them, an ounce of regard, an ounce of compassion. Just shut it off, like shut it down. Um, get that demon piece of shit out of your life. And uh, the minute that you get that negative um, demon, dark cloud energy out of your life is the minute that you're going to start to actually feel the burden released. You're, gonna, you're not going to feel all the burden of having to deal with a narcissist um, or be in contact with them because even being in contact with them is a burden because they're just full of toxic, negative, dark energy and they try to drag everyone else down into their misery because they're really miserable people. So don't allow that. Um, and just, just know that um, if you're a fellow survivor, just know that uh, every day they really are living their karma. They are fucking miserable. Every narcissist, every psych sociopath is miserable inside. And that's why they need to go out and extract energy from other people, extract things from other people because they have nothing to give. They have nothing in themselves to offer anyone. So this is why they have to go out and find targets and victims and, and people, especially online. Now online is their playground. Um, sites like Tinder, um, Instagram, um, even Facebook, all of them are really the hunting ground for sociopaths and um, narcissist because what better place than to find a bunch of people like so many to choose from to get their narcissistic supply from and their attention from and to to potentially victimize if they can find the information on that person any vulnerabilities and get in and hook them emotionally